I follow Antifa New York and a lot of the other Antifas on Twitter um, because I want to know what's going on with them. I decided to join Antifa after Donald Trump decided that they were a terrorist organization because I believe that the classification was wrong. Um, so now I have declared myself the Antifa candidate for president. Antifa New York hasn't endo endorsed me and none of the other Antifas have even retweeted my tweets. Um, but what I have learned is that Antifa New York is for anarchy and um, I'm very against anarchy. Why? Well, do you have oil in the state of nature? Like, do you, do you have oil in the state of anarchy? Not really. Um, how do you get food? Through trade. Um, what are you going to trade? Well, you can't really trade money in the state of nature. All right, so um, Thomas Hobbes, who was one of the founding thinkers of the American government, he said that a bad king is better than no king at all. Why? Because an organized society is better than a disorganized society. Um, what does that mean? Uh, it means I can go buy a beer, and after this I might go have a beer because guess what? I have beers at my house. I'm actually like a rich person, it feels like. I'm like, I'm like I feel like I'm a prisoner because I can't leave because I don't have a gun, but um, at least I have beers here. So uh, Thomas Hobbes said that a good, or uh, that a bad king, like a crap king, is better than no king at all. But um, why is that? Well, Jean-Jacques Rousseau talked about the state of nature and in the state of nature, um, it's like, it's kind of like, um, I see your apple and I think that you're looking at my apple and I don't know what I should do um, because I'm afraid you're gonna take my apple. So I feel like I need to kill you to take your apple because then at least I'll have two apples because in the state of nature, you're hungry. And you can say you're not hungry in the state of nature, but you are. Um, because you don't have an organized society. And people that long for anarchy, in my opinion, are people that don't understand what anarchy is. And that's why it's like, okay, is Antifa like a group that's working with child philosophy? Like, like are, are you guys working based on cool symbols? Like, is this, is this a very well th thought out group? Um, or... Like, is Antifa about what I, I think Antifa should be about, which is uh, being people that are exhibiting fascist behavior in your, in your government. It's about exposing them. It's about finding a way to like, finally stop them from behaving the way they are. It, it, it's a group with a goal. It sounds like Antifa New York ha has a goal of anarchy, and it's like, you've never been hungry. Like that, that's, that's my opinion about you, is that you need to find out what it's like to be hungry. Like on the streets and hungry. It, it is not, um, is not something you'll enjoy. And that's why and no one that's ever been actually hungry will want anarchy in their society. All right, so um, after Thomas Hobbes, there was John Locke. And John Locke believed that um, the purpose of government and the purpose of, a, of your king or whatever um, should be to ensure life, liberty, and property or the, the individual citizens' life, liberty, and property. What does that mean? It means um, I want to make sure the government tries to protect, people, protect people's lives, like with the military. The military defends us from uh, foreign threats. No one wants to mess with us. We have all this great stuff. The United States is not that appealing from an invasion perspective. It's like, well, I could invade a lot of people before I invade the United States. Um, and so um, the military protects our life, even if you feel like they don't. Um, um, but um, the government is also supposed to protect your freedom, your liberty. Um, and that's why we have the Bill of, Bill of Rights. So um, the law is supposed to keep you free. It's not supposed to put you in jail for something um, that you feel you're trying to protect your life. Like, like, because that's, that's what I did. I didn't want to pull out my gun like the class taught me. And so instead of pulling out my gun and saying, stop, um, I wrote a note because I thought it was better to be polite. Apparently, being polite is worse than um, actually pulling out your gun because if I pulled out my gun, I wouldn't have gotten in trouble according to, um, according to my class. 
because my class never taught me anything about felony menacing. They never mentioned felony menacing. Um, all right, so the purpose of government is to protect, protect the individual citizen's life, liberty, and property. Um, Thomas Jefferson said it's to protect our life, liberty, and our, and our, our ability to pursue happiness, which I really like. I really like that idea. Um, but I also think I need to have a gun to protect my property. I need a gun to protect my life more than anyone in the world. And if there's anything that I don't have a gun for, it's protecting my liberty because I'm, I, I can't even protect my liberty because um, the government's decided that, um, I don't know. I don't know what the government's decided. It, I, it's, the government decided what they decided. All right, that's it. Um, anarchy's bad, Antifa, New York. Uh, you're making me question your... Um, your intellectual abilities.